in that line of thoughts, uh, which are the most important projects, um, present projects and achievements of the association? I think that IFA since its move from Genève in Switzerland, for where the association was based for more than 50 years, to Belgium, to Ghent and to Brussels, uh, was a very important move. And it was uh, guided by uh, my predecessor, Hugo de Greef, who has initiated, uh, of course, together with the Secretary at the Board uh, and the President, Darko Burlek, uh, a series of very important uh, activities and initiatives that today are important for the association, but also for the broader cultural sector in Europe and even in the world, I would say. One very, very important initiative that has been taken and that uh, I think is a, a very remarkable project also for the future is the European Atelier for Young Festival Managers. It's a training program for young festival managers dedicated to programming, to the international work, really to the artistic dimension of a, of a festival and what a festival should be. This is a training program that was organized Now, for the second time this year, in collaboration with the Varna Festival um, in May lately, and it was, uh, again, like in 2006 when we organized it for the first time, an amazing platform for 40 young festival managers that came together for a whole week, not just for a day, but for a whole week uh, to uh, spend time together from 25 different countries, exchange Uh, their ways of work. That's, that's one important element of the atelier. And the second element is that this group of people stays together, talks about festivals, and this in collaboration with well, a group of outstanding festival mentors, experienced festival directors like uh, Jonathan Mills, the director from the uh, International Edinburgh Festival, Hugo de Greve, Nele Hertling, Bernard Fevre d'Arcier from the Avignon Festival, and so forth. They come in, they join, and they take part in the atelier, share their experience uh, with participants. And I can tell you that really sometimes it changed people's lives. And that's, uh, that's, that's very, very important and greatly to see that the European Festivals Association could be the initiator and at the basis of this, of this training program. I think I would like to mention a second project because it is a project that is also linked to the change and to the move of IFA from Genève to Brussels, which is the European House for Culture. It's a place, it's a project, it's two things, place and project. It's a space where cultural networks that are based in Brussels are invited to come to and share an office together in order to make networks that are numerously based in Brussels, make them work closer together in order to create more synergies and in order to make also the voice of the cultural sector here in Brussels, where it counts, where you have the different European in institutions and different levels of political decision-making, um, to make this voice much more heard than it, uh, it is heard at the moment. And a place like the European House for Culture, which is situated at the Flaget, a cultural center in the heart of Brussels, This place has been launched in 2009, now in September, uh, and will be developed further into a really a reference point, a meeting place from the sector on the one hand with political decision-making bodies uh, on the other hand. And that's just, just two examples to underline that uh, the European Festivals Association really has developed into a, an association that is open, that is dynamic, that is... Um, based on the diversity and the incredible um, richness of festivals, cultures and arts in its membership, uh, contributing to a, to a very important mission of arts and culture in Europe in general. There are other projects like the IFA book series, uh, a series of books that uh, IFA is dedicating to different aspects of the festival business, is publishing uh, on the IFA eShop that you can find on the IFA website online and other uh, meeting and um, meeting moments uh, also, and it's, I think, also important to underline with festivals from beyond European borders, uh, festivals in the Arab countries, festivals in, in Africa, festivals in, in Asia. That is another very important uh, line that we are going to continue also for the future. Of course, always in collaboration with, uh, with members and based on the interest of of uh, festivals that are members of the European Festivals Association.